Hello friend, in this video uh, we are discussing the design of the plastic components. So we will cover the general design parameters, structural design and design for assembly and the machining and finishing of the component. Also we will discuss the mold design. So let's start. In general design parameter, material selection plays a very important role. Okay. So the different plastic have the different types of uh, load carrying capacity and having the different mechanical and the physical property okay that can significantly impact on the performance of the final product okay so if you take the example some plastics are more durable and resistance to the impact while others are more heat resistant so different plastic having the different properties in terms of dimensional tolerance so it is also important in ensuring that the component is accurate and will functional correctly so the dimensional tolerance is also very important okay so it's essential to consider the shrinkage of the plastic material during the cooling process which can affect the overall dimension of the part okay also wall thickness uh, is very important okay so uh, we need a proper wall thickness not too much thin not too much thick because uh, the thin wall may not be strong enough to support the required load uh, while too thick wall may cause the warping or shrink mark so the nominal wall thickness we need to select okay so in the general design parameter there are number of factors will come means like a uh, 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 how much draft, shrinkage, uh, parting line, undercuts. So these are number of parameters like a corner, rounds. Uh, I will upload the separate videos on the general design guidelines for the plastic components. Okay. Next one we have the structural design. The structural design uh, is also very important to ensure that the plastic component can withstand the load and the stresses during the operations. So for that uh, we will generally uh, design the ribs uh, so it is a common technique uh, used to increase the stiffness of the component uh, you, you can take the example in a plastic chair the backrest may be designed with the ribs to increase the its strength and durability so you can see in the in the back side uh, means the backrest of the chair the some uh, ribs are there and number of components you can see okay so uh, generally uh, fillet design is also uh, uh, important consideration in the structural design because fillet uh, fillet is also increases the uh, strength of the uh, component because it will reduces the stress concentration and the stress area okay next one we have the design for assembly so for easy assemble and the disassemble of the component uh, design uh, for assembly is very important so generally if you see most of the component are screw fitted okay some components are snap fit the snap fits are popular technique to use in the plastic design components to hold the two components together without need of any additional fastener okay so we are not using any additional fastener uh, for the uh, assembly okay snap fit it is a, like a shape we will design in the plastic and it will uh, lock between the two components okay so you can see in the picture uh, the example of the snap fit okay also the living hinge are another technique to use in the uh, design for assembly which allows the component for the flex and the bend without breaking so for the most of the plastic components uh, generally we, we will use the uh, screw okay screw for the assembly okay so generally uh, we design the bosses uh, uh, into the plastic component and uh, uh, with the help of screw uh, we will uh, assemble the two components next one we have the machining and finishing of the component so uh, machining and finishing of component is uh, also very important for the aesthetic purpose and also for to meet the uh, product require, required specifications oh okay for that uh, the gate location is very important consideration in machining and finishing because the poor located gates uh, can cause the cosmetic uh, defects and uneven shrinkage okay also the weld lines are another consideration in machining and finishing okay so when 
two flows uh, meets at one point it will form the uh, weld line so actually the weld line it's uh, 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 means not affects on the uh, product performance but it will uh, affects on the aesthetic uh, look of the product okay so the weld line can impact the strength of the component also if it is too weak okay so it is important to consider the uh, the gate location properly uh, and uh, design the mold okay so the surface finish is also important for the aesthetic purpose last and the most important uh, consideration is the uh, mold design so the mold design is uh, critical in ensuring that the final product is accurate and consistent so we need to design a mold in such a way that we can uh, produce the number of quantity and it should be accurate okay so for that the gate design is important in the uh, mold design to ensure that the molten plastic flow evenly into the mold okay so the proper design gate will ensure that the plastic feel mold properly and reducing the cosmetic defects and also improving the strength of the final product okay uh, related with the gates uh, runner design is also another important consideration in the mold design okay so which uh, runner design uh, ensure that the molten plastic is uh, distributed evenly throughout the mold we need a even flow through the mold okay to get the uh, proper mold uh, without uh, any cosmetic defects okay also uh, in the mold design cooling system is a uh, uh, very important okay so which ensure that the plastic solidify evenly and component can be ejected from the mold without any damage okay also uh, in the mold design temperature and the pressure maintenance uh, is very important because uh, uh, temperature and pressure sometimes uh, most of the defects uh, uh, is occur due to the temperature and the uh, pressure management system okay so most of the uh, defects we can avoid by managing the temperature and the pressure of the uh, process so friend design of the plastic component involve many consideration to ensure that the final product is accurate consistent and the perform as intended okay so uh, from material selection to the mold design every aspect of the design process plays an critical role in the product design if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching See you in the next video.